Hello, my name is Helena Jenikin, and I'm a certified emotion code practitioner as well as a certified clinical hypnotherapist. In this short video, I'd like to explain to you the seven keys to the emotion code process. The first key in the process is permission. I require your permission to work on you energetically. If you like, you can also give me permission if you're the guardian to work on your children and or animal. Next key is proxy. Once I have your permission, I can actually then go in and ask your subconscious mind, your powerful, all-knowing, supercomputer subconscious mind, yes or no questions. Only yes or no questions. Next key is severity. I require the severity of the issue. Ten being severe, one being not so much. My intention is to lower that number and actually get it down to a zero. The next key in the process is the emotion code chart. Now, Dr. Bradley Nelson, the creator of this book um, and the process called the emotion code, created a chart of 60 negative emotions. And those 60 negative emotions are divided into two columns, A and B, and six rows. When I'm doing the work, you'll hear me say, is the negative trapped emotion in column A or column B? Is it in an odd row or an even row? What that allows me to do is find the emotion that's causing the issue very rapidly. The next key in the process is muscle testing. That's how I find the emotion. Now my muscle testing looks like this. There's many different ways to muscle test, but I have an agreement with my subconscious mind, my all powerful knowing subconscious mind that when I link my fingers together and I think the word yes, they just get stuck. They won't, they won't pull apart. So that's a yes and this is a no. So that's a yes and let it go if it is a no. That's muscle testing. Now the next key in the process is magnet. That's right, a magnet. Magnets are energy and when we're working with energy, what we're doing is using, um, these ones are hematite magnets. Those are my favorite to use. You can use any magnet whatsoever. A fridge magnet works as well. Uh, but what I will do is when I find that negative trapped emotion that's trapped somewhere in your body, probably the size of this lemon, wherever it is, we are calling it out, pops out into your physical, uh, from your physical body into your energetic body. We all know that we have an energetic body. Enough of us have picked up bad vibes or good vibes from people that enter a room, walk into a room, into an elevator. So we know all about vibes. What we're doing is we're using the magnets to swipe over the governing meridian, governing meridian three times or 10 times. If it's an inherited emotion that you inherited from your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, or even further down, or maybe absorbed emotion from someone um, or an absorbed emotion while you were in the womb is quite fascinating. But what we're doing is we're releasing that energy. We're processing it with our intention to release it. So it doesn't go back into the physical body and get trapped again. It just gets canceled and disappears. The last key in the um, motion code process that I use is <clears throat> a hydrated practitioner. You'll find me always drinking a lot of water like right now. Cheers. And also my clients drink a lot of water. Water allows the energy to move through the physical body um, quicker. So if you're ever doing muscle testing on your own or if you ever find yourself confused or indecisive, go grab yourself a glass of water and you'll find that that answers just come like that to you. That's all for right now. In future videos, you can find out more about what to expect after your session. You can find out about processing. I'll do some videos on, um, there's some videos there on um, what a negative trapped emotion is. I'll talk about uh, our heart wall and what that is and how that can be causing blocking um, uh, love coming into your life, um, either being able to give it or to receive it. Uh, there's blocks that can be created um, that create your financial blocks and also uh, procrastination or food cravings. Believe it or not, there's a negative trapped emotion or many of them that may be causing your desire to eat a certain beverage or <laughs> drink a certain beverage or eat a certain food. The Emotion Code is wonderful. This is the book once again if you'd like to pick it up. The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. I'm Helena Jenikin, Certified Emotion Code Practitioner. I look forward to working with you real soon.